Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to change the wallpaper on iPhone 16e. To do it, you need to first have the wallpaper so you can take a photo of something, you can transfer it from your previous device or you can download it from the internet or you will be also, I'm going to show you how to choose a photo from the provided by Apple or create your own emoji wallpaper for instance so let's go to settings first then find the wallpaper now you can just add new wallpaper and you can choose a wallpaper from photos a photo shuffle so the wallpapers will change automatically the live photo emoji wallpaper as well as just a certain color or astronomy or weather. You can also see the featured ones, the weather and astronomy. So you can, for example, add the weather so you'll see what weather it is. Uh, is it right now? And it'll show you the sky, if it's clear or if it has clouds or rain, snow. Uh, you can also set a kaleidoscope, an emoji wallpaper, and you can select different emojis and way more than that so let's just choose first i'm gonna show you the photo just choose a photo that you want to set i don't think i have any pretty photos but let's see maybe that's good enough i think that'll be great you can add a filter onto it. You can also change the color for some filters. But I think I'll go with a default option. The natural one. Then you can also change the clock style for the lock screen. So that's also pretty, pretty cool. You can select font um, and the weight of the font. So there are different fonts, as you might have noticed. I think I really like this thin look. Um, then you can also change the color of the clock, but I'm gonna leave it on that one because it looks, I think, really great. Then uh, the um, top widget, which can be calendar, or what I personally prefer is the Mm, weather, I know I don't have the location turned on right now, but when I will, then it'll show the Fry 7, so the, the, the weekday and the date, then the weather next to it. You can also add widgets, mm, and here are different, uh, different widgets that you can add, for example, the batteries of your devices, or... Um, some calendar, upcoming uh, events, then the Google Drive, clock, and there's so much more onto it. So I'm just gonna find maybe something cool. Like the, I think I have the weather, so, so maybe I don't need the temperature, but I'll add the air quality and you can also add something else next to that, like, uh, uh, Apple Cash, or I'm just gonna add uh, the fitness, and I'll add the big widget. I just need to tap on it, and you can see they are added. Let's see if I can switch their places. No, for some reason I can't. So let's leave it like that. I don't think uh, this one is quite visible, so what we can do is we can click on the clock and change the color just a bit, actually, so so I'm just gonna click on uh, the drop tool. Until I find the good color. I think this one will work. Um, yes, and you can also change these things at the bottom. 
so you can replace uh, these shortcuts and you can disable or enable the extend wallpaper function so if you zoom it out so much that it just cuts off then it'll extend it with a blurred look mm, and I think that's all I wanted to achieve with it so I can click on add and I can set it as a wallpaper pair or customize the home screen and I'm gonna customize the home screen and for the home screen you can set mm, the pair you can unblur it or blur it uh, you can instead also choose a color a gradient of course you can choose different ones or you can select a photo and set a different photo as your home screen. So let's set something like this maybe. I'm just gonna put it here at the bottom maybe like that. Then I'm gonna click on done. I think it looks quite great. Let's click on done. And now my wallpaper is all set. You can see this is my home screen. And this is my lock screen. That's all for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.